Country music fans, this one's for you. You can see our next guest, Randall King, on stage at Gainbridge Fieldhouse when he opens up for Tim McGraw's Standing Room Only Tour, coming up on Thursday, April 18th. He's a Hereford, Texas native whose music has been streamed over 300 million times worldwide, and his new album, Into the Neon, is out now. Hi, Randall. Thanks for joining us. Well, good morning. How y'all doing? We're doing, doing great, great, man. great. I'm loving the hat, by the way. Yeah, it's looking, great, Randall. Looking good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, there was just a wildfire. Ooh, it looks good. Well, we're really Thanks. excited to talk to you about your music, but first of all, I know you're coming to town here soon, so how are you feeling about opening up for Tim McGraw this week? I mean, honestly, uh, I've, I've grown up on Tim McGraw. I grew up on his, on his first, very first, uh, his second record, All I Want, that record right there, I think it was the second record. I wore that thing out as a kid, man, imitating. I like it, I love it, you know? I think every kid did. <laughs> You want to be a country music star, Tim McGraw is the icon to be. And uh, to be able to do a show with him, it's, just, it's unreal. Never got to do it, so going to check this off the bucket list and, and uh, sit back and enjoy it. Love That's that. great, man. Dreams are coming true. Tell yeah. us about your new album. We've been listening to it, Into the Neon, and how have your fans been responding to it? Man, it's, it's been great. Uh, this record's streaming like crazy. Uh, we just came off a... Uh, Couple sold off show, sold out shows this weekend uh, in Albuquerque and in Flagstaff. Uh, we're we're all over the place, man, and my fans are all over the, all over the country, all over the world. Uh, we're selling out even in the UK right now. Uh, man, it's it's just unreal to see what this record's doing for us. And uh, it's 18 songs, and there's a lot of a lot of songs you can listen to, and uh, the people will always make the choice for you as far as uh, what the biggest songs on the record is, no matter what you think. And <laughs> yeah. it's been cool to sit back and see. Uh, see what they choose. Yeah, they choose what the biggest hit That's is. That's right. I love that. You have such a cool sound. Maybe let's talk about who are some of your greatest influences and musical heroes. Oh, for me, my number one is Keith Whitley. I grew up on, you know, Alan Jackson, George Strait, Merle Haggard, Keith Whitley. Um, those are, and Randy Travis, you know, those are, those are my biggest influences. So, uh, but this record, uh, <clears throat> you know, in high school, I grew up on, on Dirks Bentley and Gary Allen on top of that. Those are two of my two of my favorite artists in that era. And uh, this record's got it's got some of that Gary Allen smoke to it and that uh, <laughs> Dirks Bentley grit and vibe. So it, it's we finally got a record that has has an edge to it that we've been looking for. And uh, this one's got the smoke. That's great. We we were reading some articles, uh, researching our, our time with you today, and it it sounds as though a lot of people are putting this label on you about you're bringing traditional country music into this modern era. Is that something, Randall, that you set out to do, or it's just the way the song has turned out? Uh, you know, I think when I, when you go in the studio, you let the songs speak for themselves and do what they're going to do. Uh, you don't want to overproduce a song. You just let the song breathe and let it do its natural thing. Uh, you have your aiming points, but man, this, honestly, this record just did its own thing and spoke for itself. Uh, Co-produced it with Jared Conrad, and then he mixed it. And the way it came together, it, it is just, it's just so perfect. You don't have to try that hard. Uh, it just yeah. speaks for itself. Yeah. So I grew up on traditional country music. I've always been traditional country music, and uh, to try to, bring a little new flair to it and step up my game, uh, you know, take it to the next level. So we're not putting out the exact same music sure. constantly. I love that. You yeah. gotta grow. It really does This sound record good. definitely stepped it up the yeah. whole, whole level. Yeah, you got this album, like you said, you are checking off your bucket list, opening up for Tim McGraw. Uh, what's next for you, Randall? Uh, you know, honestly, we have a whole year of touring really hard. Uh, like I said, we, we've been going over the UK. Uh, we've got some UK dates coming up in August. Uh, be doing some of my festivals again. I hold my own festival called King Fest, one in Texas, one in Tennessee. We'll be doing that again this year. Uh, otherwise, you know, we just keep building a fan base and one fan at a time and putting new music out. That's great. Final question. Do you need some barbecue recommendations here in Indy? I know you come from a big beef capital of, of the world town. Oh yeah, I always do. Okay. Yeah, I always do. We've played now. We've played India a few times, eight seconds, and I, I've never even known that you guys had barbecue up there. Oh, we got some good. Oh good yeah, we do. We'll, could... we'll send you some DMs. Yes, we've got some good ones. Yeah, how are you? How are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, you can see Randall on stage at Gamebridge Fieldhouse this Thursday, April 18th, with Tim McGraw. His new album, Into the Neon, is out now. Go check that out. Randall, thank you so much for your time. Safe travels on the road, man. Thank you, guys. Thank I appreciate you. your time.
You bet. Yeah, thank you so much. Awesome. We'll have more Indie Now coming up right after this. That was great.